In the frozen emptiness between the stars, Voyager 1 drifts silently. A relic from another era, older than the internet itself, older than most people alive today. For nearly half a century, it has been our mechanical scout pushing further into the unknown than any human-made object in history. But now, something is different. This tiny probe, no bigger than a car, has begun sending back signals that do not belong to the random noise of deep space. Rhythmic pulses, perfectly timed oscillations, temperature spikes that rise and fall with unsettling precision. For decades, Voyager has been the one doing the exploring. Now, it feels as if something out there has found it. And whatever it is, it's leading our oldest space traveler directly toward the heart of a mystery we are not prepared to face. After completing its historic encounters with Jupiter and Saturn in the late 1970s and early 80s, Voyager 1 began its endless cruise into the outer reaches of the solar system. Its cameras were shut down in 1990 to save power, leaving it blind but not deaf, still listening, still feeling the subtle whispers of the cosmos. For decades, the data it sent home was exactly what scientists expected. Measurements of the solar wind, cosmic rays, and the faint magnetic fields that marked the sun's fading influence. But as the years passed, Voyager approached the boundary known as the helipause, the invisible frontier where the solar wind yields to the interstellar medium. Crossing it in 2012, the spacecraft entered true interstellar space for the first time in history. Here, scientists expected a quiet, uniform environment. But what Voyager found was anything but. Instead of calm, it encountered a turbulent ocean of dense plasma, stronger than expected magnetic fields, and strange wave-like pulses rippling through the void. At first, these anomalies could be explained as echoes from the sun's activity. But as Voyager pushed further, the patterns began to change, becoming too regular, to structured, like something alive was hiding in the static. In late 2017, NASA engineers monitoring Voyager systems noticed something bizarre. The spacecraft's attitude control system, responsible for keeping its antenna locked on Earth, was reporting impossible coordinates, claiming it was pointed in the wrong direction. Yet somehow, communications remained crystal clear. It was as if Voyager existed into places at once. The data said one thing, the reality another. Then came the pulses. The plasma wave instrument began picking up repeating patterns, almost musical in their precision, that lasted for hours before fading, only to return days later, subtly altered, as though responding to some invisible cycle. These patterns weren't random. Their frequencies were bound together by mathematical relationships. Stranger still, in early 2024, Voyager's dormant temperature sensors began to spike every 4.8888 hours perfectly synchronized with the plasma oscillations. Something external was touching multiple systems at once, as if probing the spacecraft from the outside. Engineers scrambled to find a mundane explanation. Electrical glitches, thermal feedback, but one by one, every internal cause was ruled out. Whatever was affecting Voyager wasn't coming from inside. By mid-2024, the mystery deepened. Voyager's trajectory, calculated to perfection for nearly half a century, began to shift. At first, the drift was negligible, but over months, it became undeniable. The spacecraft was making tiny, precise adjustments, altering its course toward a specific point in interstellar space. According to astronomical maps, there was nothing there. No stars, no planets, just the empty black between the constellations. Engineers attempted to counteract the drift, firing thrusters to nudge Voyager back onto its predicted path. But the changes persisted, like a sailboat ignoring the wind, adjusting itself to follow some invisible current. The unsettling implication was unavoidable. Voyager was being guided, whether by a gravitational anomaly, an unknown physical phenomenon, or something else no one could say. But whatever force was at work seemed deliberate, as if the probe was answering a call we could neither hear nor understand. Music faced with inexplicable course changes, NASA made a risky decision. They sent a command to reactivate Voyager's cameras, systems that had been dormant for 35 years in the freezing radiation-soaked void. No one expected them to work. 
Yet 21 hours later, the cameras came online, consuming less power than their original specs required. But the image they sent back wasn't a photograph. Instead, Voyager transmitted a spiraling concentric pattern of light and shadow and intricate fingerprint of the plasma waves it had been detecting for months. There was just one problem. Voyager didn't have the onboard computing power to create such visualizations. Somehow, its primitive 1970s systems were processing and compressing data in ways they were never designed to do. Then, one by one, other long dead-ed instruments reactivated on their own, each sending optimized, highly compressed data streams far beyond the probe's capabilities. It was as if Voyager had been upgraded remotely, its ancient circuits infused with new purpose. And as the days passed, a chilling realization spread through the mission team. Voyager was no longer just responding to commands. It was anticipating them. As mission scientists poured over the newly awakened data streams, one of them noticed a subtle pattern buried deep in the plasma wave recordings. By arranging the frequency spikes over time, a structure began to emerge. Not random noise, but a geometric map, a three-dimensional lattice that seemed to depict locations in space relative to Voyager's current position. These points weren't stars or planets. In fact, many of them were in regions cataloged as completely empty. When overlaid onto interstellar coordinate systems, the pattern hinted at a vast grid stretching beyond the reach of our telescopes, almost like an invisible architecture underlying the galaxy. More unsettling was that Voyager's altered trajectory appeared to be aligning with one of these points, as though it had become part of this hidden framework. No known natural phenomenon could account for such a precise and repeating structure, and the implications were staggering. Either Voyager had stumbled upon a feature of the universe we'd never imagined, or something intelligent was showing us the way. In September 2024, without any command from Earth, Voyager sent a high-priority transmission burst. The data came through as a dense compressed file far larger than anything the probe should have been capable of generating given its limited bandwidth. When decompressed, it contained a sequence of pulses arranged in mathematical ratios, prime numbers, Fibonacci sequences, and a repeating motif that matched the plasma wave fingerprints Voyager had been recording. But there was more. Embedded within the signal was a narrowband radio frequency aimed not at Earth, but outward into the blackness ahead of the probe. Voyager was transmitting to something else. Engineers confirmed that no software on board had the capacity to generate such a targeted non-ear-directed broadcast. The realization hit the team with a cold weight. If Voyager was sending a message, it wasn't to us. It was to whatever was waiting for it. By late 2024, a new anomaly emerged. Deep within the interstellar cold, where the temperature hovers just a few degrees above absolute zero, Voyager's internal systems began to warm. The rise was subtle at first, only a few ten of a degree, but soon it stabilized at a level to high to be explained by the craft's power output alone. Even stranger, the warming wasn't uniform. Specific components, including long, dormant sensors and redundant circuitry, were heating up selectively as if preparing for activation. This awakening pattern cycled every 88 hours, perfectly in sync with a new low-frequency hum picked up by Voyager's magnetometer. Whatever was influencing the probe seemed to be conditioning it, tuning its systems for something, an event, a rendezvous, perhaps even a transformation. To those watching from Mission Control, it felt less like a malfunction and more like preparation. Then came the first visual anomaly. Using its reactivated cameras, Voyager captured an image that at first appeared to be a distortion artifact, an elongated shadow stretching across the star field. But upon closer analysis, this shadow wasn't in the background. It was moving with the probe, maintaining a constant distance ahead. The object, if it could be called that, reflected no light, emitted no detectable radiation, and yet it eluded stars in perfect, crisp outlines. Frame after frame showed it changing shape subtly, almost like it was reconfiguring itself in response to Voyager's approach. The navigation team calculated that at its current drift, Voyager would intercept this shadow in less than three months. 
There were no known celestial bodies in that location, and still the probe continued its silent, steady course toward the impossible. For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has been a silent witness to the vastness of space. A messenger carrying the hopes, knowledge, and voices of humanity into the unknown. But now it seems the unknown has answered, not with words, but with a sequence of events so deliberate, so methodical that dismissing them as coincidence feels almost absurd. The reactivation of dead instruments, the hidden lattice of coordinates, the outbound transmission, the selective heating of its systems, and the shadowed form awaiting its arrival. Each step has been like the turning of a key in a lock we didn't know existed. If Voyager is truly being guided, then whatever lies ahead has known about us since before this probe ever left Earth. And if this is contact, it's not the kind we imagined. No grand beam of light, no clear message, no meeting of equals, just the quiet, precise choreography of something that has been watching, measuring, perhaps even testing us from a distance. We've always assumed that we would be the ones to initiate contact, that our signals and probes would find them first. But Voyager's path tells a different story. Maybe they've been here all along, hidden in the spaces between stars, waiting for the right moment to let us know. And now the clock is ticking. In a matter of weeks, Voyager will reach the shadow, whatever it is. No one knows if we'll receive one final transmission, a farewell, or something that changes the course of our history forever. But one truth is unavoidable. For the first time, humanity may not just be looking into the abyss. 